Some might call this the worst purchase in the history of men. <laughs> oh, they're wrong. Huh? Oh, classless ingrates. They don't know what they're talking about. They wouldn't know wine from a glass of milk. I made the right decision, and I'll tell you why. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. This lens has crossed my path many a time in my life. Once I came back from Thailand, I was looking, I was considering getting the Sony a7 III, and this lens, they had it used at Henry's. I was like, don't do it. Don't do it. Then it was offered to me. Marcus Picks had a generous list of items I could pick and choose from. I almost picked it, but I went with a Panasonic GH5S. There's nothing wrong with Panasonic autofocus. If you own a Panasonic camera, you're proud. You got no reason to be disappointed. Your footage is 40% in focus, 40% thinking about being in focus, and 20% about to be in focus. So you're good. So I've been using the 20 mm Tony 1.8 in here and it's a great lens. It's just sometimes it's a bit wide. There's too much information here. Outside these walls, there's nothing more exciting. Like there's an air conditioner. On this side, it's just an empty dark hallway. 24 mil is better for me in my life. And that's all it came down to. I just, I thought, you know what? Whenever I switch to the 24 mil on the Fuji, I like that look better. So I was thinking, G Master, you could do that. Every scrub in the city of Nevada has bought that thing. They all own it. Do you wanna be like everybody else? Or the unique one on the market, Zeiss Batis 25 mil. So it was a debate. I'll tell you, the Sony is the better lens. Like it's sharper, more tone, better quality tone. The, like the balls, onion ring balls here not in the G Master. It's sharper, did I say that? Chromatic aberrations, none. Like everything you could think of, autofocus, manual, focus, switch, right on there. Clicky, non-clicky, aperture swings. Hmm, hmm, not bad. Only a moron would ever get this lens over that one. But I am your moron. There's a couple reasons why I chose this and why you might also consider choosing it through my affiliate links down below. I'll tell you the reasons I chose this lens over the G Master and then we'll go outside to a little vlog test to tell you why the reasons I hate this lens already. So first reason, less focus breathing than the G Mat. There's something about G Master lenses that they're just the worst ever. The walls cave in on you. There still is some. It's not like, oh, perfectly controlled. That 35mm 1.8 is probably the best controlled one, but in the test I've seen, this beat the G Master. And it's kind of important just because every little movement, when there's a jerky motion, if it breathes a lot, your whole scene changes. It's just weird. It's like, what the hell was that? I notice it big time on the Canon RF lenses. One of the main reasons, I watched a bunch of reviews, there's only like a couple comparisons of this lens versus the G Master, and I just, I always seem to prefer the Zeiss look. There's something about it. The colors, they're warmer. There's more pop, three-dimensional pop. I don't know what it is, like micro contrast. I don't even know what that is. But Zeiss has a 3D pop, and we're witnessing it. Are we? No. Still living room? It could be good. One of the major advantages, this is much lighter. Don't quote me on this, but 335 grams versus the G Master's like 460. Don't quote me on any of those numbers if I see one quote. So this could theoretically double as a vlogging camera. It's much lighter, it's lighter than the 20 mil. I have a feeling it's gonna be too tight and the stabe's gonna be bullshit. But if it's good, it's lighter than the 20. Then you got the ultimate light thing in your hands. Now this next reason, it's not a good reason, but it's an important one. But let me just say, this was much cheaper. Now, if you're spending money on a lens like this, it's gonna last you the rest of your life. It should, unless you drop it, like be careful and then boom, you got it. In 10 years, who cares about $500? Like 500 more over 10 years? It's a dollar a year. 
proven by science. So I've seen the G Master at 1500 used. That was the best deal I saw. This was 950, even with the best deal. That's pretty, that's a lot, it's significant. It's like, eh, we'll just get a little lens, 950. It's not even a thousand. Whereas like $1,500, wow. The last reason I chose this lens over the G Master and then we'll go outside. I just think this is a much more modest lens. Tony too, that's fine, that's plenty enough. When you get the 1.4, it's a bit ridiculous. Even the 1.8, even this is probably a bit ridiculous. Outside, I might even stop down. I made a vlog on the Vegetable Police Network the other day using the 20mm 1.8. I stopped it down to 2.8, the whole video, and I was like, still too blurry. I don't know that we can go all the way to Tony 4. That might be, 3.5 might be a sweet spot, but you're paying for those numbers. And this is not bad. Tony 2, that's enough, especially if you're this close. Any closer than this, you're stupid. This type of thing? No. This is your fucking video? Don't cancel your show. Also, just everybody has the G Master. Everybody has sold this lens to get it. You don't want to be like everybody else. I wish I had something nobody had. A Pentax? I should. I'll get one. Pentax K1 Mark II? Because it improved so much over the Mark I like a light bulb on the side or something. I forget what they added, but yeah, be different if you can. Olympus, I love shooting on that thing. Nobody shoots on it. Only taking pictures. Those don't count, it's a still image. That's why using a Canon camera would be so stupid. You're basically a sheep looking at another sheep about to get murdered, boom, throat slit. And then you're like, hmm, I, I need to see that closer. He probably won't do that to me, but oh, he's doing it. Ow. You'll get the same look as everybody else. If you pulled YouTube right now, you're probably 79% Canon users. Just scum of the earth. So let's go outside, see if it can vlog. I have my worries and doubts. Those will be abided soon. That wasn't the word. Hey, look at that. You can vlog with the Freewell lens cap on. It's so cinematic. Oh, that's good times. Why even take it off? <laughs> That's so much worse. All right, I had to call an audible. We had to change the NDs down a bit. I'm not used to vlogging at a normal hour. I'm used to high noon. Where's that sun? How's that doing? Is there too much tonne? Don't even pretend there is. <laughs> Goodbye, tonne women. What trouble will you get into tonight? Where have they gone? So right now we're extended on a little tripod. How's the stabe doing? That's my number one future might be a complaint is the stabe because I haven't tried it yet, but I imagine since it's a Zeiss, if it's not a Sony lens, active stabe just does not work right. Not perfectly. It can work if you're careful, but is it good enough? It's shaking a bit. I kind of want to try without the tripod. This is perfectly wide. 24 mil, you got it. You got it. What if we hand hold it? How are we doing on that? Now you can see bicep. Now you, now it looks like you're vlogging instead of the dignified tripod look. Oh well, it's already in the bag. We can't go back now. Did the stab get worse? Look at the tonne. That's too much tonne. You know it is. You know we gotta stop it down. So here's 2.8 still. Too blurry, in my opinion. I think you could theoretically do a Tony 4. I overshot it. That's, I was right in the room. 3.5 is the max. There it is. That's dignity. You got dignity. I was supposed to reattach that so it's facing the right way. I suck at my job. So my number one potential complaint is that the Stabe might not be as good as regular native Sony lenses. Not sure. But that could be a complaint. Sad stop. Oh, there's another complaint. Is that it? That ain't a sun star. Is it because the sun is so weak right now? Oh boy. There's no autofocus manual focus switch. 
That's a bitch. I missed that. It's so easy. Like, when I want to switch to slow-mo, turn it around. Okay, I need this. I need to take control. Now I gotta dive in the menus. Every lens should have a switch, but they don't. And this one doesn't. Just because it's sleek looking. Oh, we didn't want to rob you of your sleek. And nobody gives a shit. And I gotta tell you, this is a fat lens. The grip, I blame this on Sony. When my hands are on the grip, my knuckles are barely touching. And the focus ring is so far back that there's potential that I will cut my own hand with my nails as I turn it. I felt it. I was like, oh, that's, I'm gonna have to hold it really weird. That's bullshit. I have to trade this in for an FX3. I can't, I wanna feel that grip. People are saying it's better than this. Oh man, Sony makes the worst grips in the game. Golden hour. He's so gold. Wow. Sun stars. Sun stars. Oh, there's none. Not one. Oh, you got to squeeze them between a head and a brick. And there. No. Another thing, there's no aperture ring. That's kind of annoying. I miss those, but it's not hard. <laughs> there's just a dial there, so it's not a real complaint. I have others, though. I'm not looking. I remember them. I'm just looking at the lens cap to see if I want to put it on after the video's finished. Chromatic aberrations, they exist and they're bad. I noticed it immediately. It gives it a cheap look. I switched from the 20 to this lens in the studio. And then I looked at that light and immediately there was green surrounding it. Once this bad boy came into my life, and I was like, oh, it kind of looks cheap or does it? It could be an effect. That sounded like an aggressive throttle. Yeah. <laughs> Send help. Send help. They're circling around. It's a one-way street. They'll be back. Oh, so the G Master definitely wouldn't have had that. They controlled it so great with the spherical elements and fluoride. I know how things work. So, I don't know. You could spin it and say, I want that effect. People are like, how'd you get the green halo around the light? That's fantastic. Wow. It's like, yeah, I wanted that. Thanks for noticing. I got this lens. It's not cheap. It's good. But I'm happy with the purchase. I think I'll keep it. There's no reason to get it. I might get the whole set. The 18 mil 2.8, boom. It's too wide. It's too stupid. But the 40 mil Tony 2, not bad. Zeiss makes good glass. They're up there. Legendary status like the Leica. My 55 mil 1.8, fantastic. Now I got like mostly Zeiss primes. That's basically Leica. Huh? I like that. I'll stop, I'll go home. There's a squirrel. We're in APS-C mode. Oh, I was gonna track him. Here you go, buddy. Oh, you... I wasted two almonds. I'm gonna eat them. So let me know what you thought of the lens. Is it better on the tripod further out? Probably. It's a little tight and I stopped it down way long ago. Way too much, Tony. But I have my addictions, you have yours. What's that down there, coffee? Yeah, yeah, who's better, me with my Tony addiction? Or you with the jittery hands? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna leave. Thanks for watching. I'm buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt. I could be wearing it. Subscribe.